So we're gonna go and hop in today. We're gonna be playing as the Byzantines, going for the Basilius achievement. The Basilius achievement is essentially to conquer all of uh, the Byzantines' holdings back, except in reality that would obviously be the whole Roman Empire. Um, no, it means more of like the um, medieval Byzantine holdings. So basically Greece, Bulgaria, um, Anatolia, that area. I think we actually only need the uh, European side, in other words, the, the Balkans and stuff. Um, Pretty sure we don't actually need to go into Anatolia, but in any case, we probably will have to or want to anyways. We are going to go ahead and get started here as Byzantium. We'll look, we have plenty of stuff we're going to have to look at and look over. So this is going to be the Basilius attempt number one. Well, revamped attempt number one, reboot number one. Basilius one. All right. And we're going to go ahead and uh, pull it open. So, I know that the meta has changed a lot for this area since I last tried. It's not been too long since I tried, maybe like five patches, six patches. So, um, a, a few, but not a ridiculous amount. Maybe, I think maybe like five, um, maybe even four. But still, some stuff has changed. I think the last time I played, the mission system was not changed yet. I'm pretty sure. So that's something new. Um, and yeah, in any case, let me go ahead and get comfortable here. Um, I know that it's, it's probably actually, probably harder now than it was before. Nah, eh, maybe not, I don't know. They weakened up the Ottomans, so that was a while back, you know. What does, uh, before we do anything else, I just want to look at the Byzantines mission line. Excuse me. Okay, so they have the normal thing here, the normal line in the middle, completely normal, not really changed at all. Recover Greece. Okay, pretty simple. When you do that, you get permanent claims on Hudavendigir, Hud, no, Hudavendigar, Aiden, and Bulgaria. Um, recover the coastline. How do you have to do that? You just have to, okay, they kind of go hand in hand. And that one, you get permanent claims on a lot of other stuff. Okay, cool. Conquer Bulgaria. Gives you permanent claims on Naples, Sicily, Calabria, Apulia. That's, that's actually pretty good. That's a uh, that's cool. It uh, starts focusing you onto the the west, and then that gives you more claims on Italy. This it gives you uh, the Eternal City, getting Rome. It gives you Venice. Hmm. Annihilate Venice. That's pretty nice. Hmm. You sack them back. Uh, on this side, you have after after recover the coastline, reestablish the theme system. Fame? I don't know. Um, oh, and a lot of stuff, which, so that's going to take a long time, obviously, but you, uh, oh, that's cool, actually. It's kind of a roleplay thing. You get Greek naming restored, but you also get some, I mean, freaking 11 development is crazy good. Convert Asia Minor, okay. Give you more claims on Antioch, Jerusalem, Alexandria, okay. Restore the Pentarchy is gives you event as well as missionary strength up. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> okay, I mean I like those mission tree, that mission tree, those missions. That seems really fun, but we have to be able to make it to that point. So I don't remember pretty much at all what the strategy should be. For one, we want to ally Austria if possible. I do know that much. They're probably not going to ally us right away, and probably that's going to be a problem because then they're going to almost certainly get too many alliances and be over their relation to slot limit. I feel like we should, um, well, we definitely want to, oh, that's the problem. Moldavia starts guaranteed by Poland now. It didn't used to, and now it does. That's, that's a real big issue, you know? Man, yeah. Oh, I forgot just how, how bad your starting position is as Byzantium. Yeah. Oh, fuh, huh. Hmm. Albania starts guaranteed by Venice now, not by the Ottomans. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. Obviously, the Ottomans start hostile to us. Pretty much want to destroy us. Okay. We are going to probably have to do a couple different tries, you know. I'd have to restart a couple times, but it's, uh... It's gonna be worth it to you know it'll, to learn our surroundings and figure out what's gonna work. Who would ally us? Theodora would. Could we vassalize Theodora? Probably not. Almost certainly not. But uh, but it's probably not too far off. No, eh, it is actually. Um, I was looking at something. What was I looking at? Uh, oh yeah. Hold on. 
Give me a second. Offer alliance. Who is the closest major power to allying us? Pretty much. Mm, wow. See another. Wow. It's pretty far up there. Austria is the closest to allying us out of the major powers. Poland probably also going to be an option at some point, but uh, not right now. Um, we definitely want to do that. Serbia has rivaled us, so we might as well rival Serbia. Might as well... I don't really care about Karaman, and they're probably going to get gobbled. I'm not going to rival them if we don't have to. I'd much rather rival uh, Moldavia, for instance. I'd much rather rival Venice, probably. Hmm. The one thing is, if we could get SCB on Karaman somehow, we would want to. So, I will I will actually keep that for now. Um, and there are options. You know, maybe we go to war with the Knights and get lucky or something. We definitely want to get a claim on Basarabia and try to uh, jump on them if we get an opportunity to. Beyond that, Wallachia would probably be the other good one, I would say. Um, yeah, I would say Wallachia is a pretty good one. Again, like a minor power, but... A decent little chunk of manpower and everything for uh, for the size that they're at. So, so that should hopefully work. Um, I'm gonna turn the volume up for you guys. Let's do that. Okay. Um, as the business needs, you start making an all right amount of money. Hmm. I'm gonna buy the discipline guy. And I feel like the rest the rest of our money, I feel like we should buy infantry. By baby trees, um, infant trees. Um, okay, and with that, pretty much not much else to do except just kind of wait, see how things play out. Um, mm hmm. Pretty much, we're just hoping that the Amazons don't declare war on us first. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. Probably too many relations. Actually, not really. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, be be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Okay. Um, we can go up to speed four. That's fine. Okay. That's annoying. Mm-hmm. We do start with 140. We also start with Athens as a vassal, mind you. Don't forget that. Which is fine. Naxo starts as a vassal of Venice. We definitely... And that's the thing. You always want to, like, be... You want to try to get to war with, like, Genoa or Venice with someone on your side. Because then you can actually get some land. But if we can't do that, it's not going to work. They actually with went with let us appoint a local noble instead. Really, Poland. Really. That is is actually probably terrible for us. It is so much better to have a unified Poland against them, but you know it is what it is. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go ahead and offer an alliance there. Uh, what is our mission? We'll build a force limit. We'll do that if we go to war. If we get put at war, more likely, probably against our will. Probably the Ottomans declaring on us is what will trigger us to take that mission. Okay. Unfortunately, losing money right now. I guess because we're at our force limit. Didn't think that would have that much of an effect, but it makes sense. Oh man. Mm, that's going to be tough. Uh, we should also go ahead and look at our Boigas. Let's go and look at our dudes here. Okay, we're not going to be able to give them any more stuff. So ask for a contribution. Might as well demand a little bit of Diplo power. Hmm, I'd like to get... If I get some good power from them. Hey, League of Average Gaming. Yes, absolutely. Just getting started. Um, and again, um, as I said before, you got here. Um, two people who might be watching on YouTube in the future. We might have to restart a couple times, you know, depending on what happens. I would not be surprised at all. And if that's the case, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And that's about all I can say about it. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I like having someone here with me now, though, because I can get some back seating. Um, I can actually get some back seating, and I, I love back seating in 
campaigns like this where I might forget details or tiny little tricks, you know. Hmm. Yeah, we already had some bad RNG with the whole... Uh, okay, there's a claim I have. With the whole um, Poland not taking the PU thing. It's actually better, I think, for... Oh, okay, so the Ottomans have gone to war with Albania. You know what this means? This means we should try to get a claim on uh, Venice, because the, the Ottomans are at war with Venice right now. Oh, and Hungary, really? Okay, so that's actually a decent little kerfluffle they've gotten themselves into there. That, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say, I would say the odds are still in the Ottomans' favor, but still, Hungary and Venice together against the Ottomans, that's a decent amount of strength, you know? Um, and Albania, of course, um, and also, ah, that's it, uh, Venice's vassals, you know, whatever. Hmm, we should also probably bring down our maintenance, but I don't know, I want to keep it up, to, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? Is like snipe some provinces while Venice is getting beaten up. And that's the idea. That's why I'm doing that. Um, or alternatively, if the Ottomans lose to an extent that is almost unfathomable, then we might be able to declare on the Ottomans. But I, I very, very, very much doubt the uh, the, the validity or likelihood of that succeeding. Venice is much more likely to lose. Uh, although, they, like you are seeing, they're going to do some good damage to each other's navies. So, you think you have to sight from Ottomans? I mean, it's it's uh, it's possible. It's possible. I wouldn't say the odds are, are great in our favor. I don't think we would even get enough war score. I don't know. It, but it, we're so early on, it's not going to matter. Uh, and this has not been a great start already, so I don't know. Um, maybe you're right. On the other hand, you know, if I could ally Austria, that would be great. And it's not ridiculous. If we could get them a little higher, I might be able to ally them. Yeah, I, I do think Hungary being in that war really makes it... Hungary, Albania, Venice is actually a decent combo. They're going to do some damage, to, to be certain. Um, I'm just not sure if it's going to do enough for us to be able to hop in and take advantage of it. We'll see. It's certainly possible. And like I said, not enough time has passed for me to care at all about really this this run. You know, I'm not invested in it. So I could totally uh, see myself trying this. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to wait a little while either way. I'm going to try to see if I can ally, ally Austria. Because they might actually join if I... Well, they don't want any land directly though, probably. So. Mm. Okay, well. League of Average Gaming, in your opinion then, when should we declare, if we're going to declare? That's a problem. Who are the Ottomans actually rival to? Hungary, Austria, Mamluks. Okay, so unfortunately, Austria's really the only one there. Who would be, uh, who might be willing to join, but even then. Hmm. Hmm. I would love to be able to do that. I'm just not sure I think it'll actually succeed. But it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, that's the other problem, right? Is their allies. They got at Kuyunlu who could make it by land. Crimea would find a way. And that's the main problem I see. I tell you what, though. Either way, this is it's good if... The more the Ottomans are losing, the better it is for us, no matter what, right? Um, I don't care if Venice... It's not good if Venice gets stronger, necessarily. Um, but it's still better than the Ottomans getting stronger. So, um... And uh, there is even the chance, however small, that they transfer us land back in their peace deal if they win. There's that, that is a possibility. I would not say it is likely. I would say it's very unlikely. Albania would more likely just take their own stuff back. Hmm. 
Uh, that's what I was thinking as well, League of Average, Ga Average Gaming, because they would, uh, they, they border, and they probably hate each other. They're not rivals, but they probably hate uh, the Venetians. Well, actually, maybe not. They actually don't mind each other? Weird. That's not too often that you see uh, them get along well. Hmm. League? I'll call you League. Yeah, sounds good. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drop our, our army maintenance. Well, look at that. Hungary is sieging now in Adurne. Hmm. They really need to stop that siege, though. <laughs> no, Kelnon, we're not doing a good old bankruptcy stream. Not yet, anyways. We're doing a, you know, try to get a good run started stream. Yeah. That's unfortunate, right? Is that Poland is not gonna hesitate to defend them. At least they're gonna cripple the Ottoman Navy either way. Hmm. What about Genoa? They're only allied with Mantua. They have Cyprus in them as, in there as well. That is actually another option. We could do that, hopefully. We need to find other allies, really. Um, Aragon, sometimes a good ally, you know. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna get that siege, that's the thing, right? And they're about to just let them, and then they're gonna go wipe out that army. Like, I, I don't know. They're getting Selenic, I guess, but that's they probably can't reach it, you know? That's That, that would make sense. Hmm. So if we are able to, if we want to get a claim on, uh, definitely on Crete. That's gonna be the best of these. Okay, let's go up to speed four. Not much going on right now beyond just waiting, looking out for opportunities. Uh, you know what, let's keep them there. I wanna see some with Austria. No, they, so, we're getting close though. And if we get ally Austria, that's gonna be very, very useful. Still haven't gotten that siege though, wow. Oh, okay, they did become a march of Poland. Well, I that sucks, but you know, we we kind of uh, knew that was coming or knew that was an option. Um I would love to do that, actually. That seems good. So what would be our option here for Venice? Problem is that they're going to be defended by, by the knights, and you know, beyond that, eh, it's just I don't think that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. However, you know, watch. Oh, water shortage. Chances are increasing of them being able to actually maybe pull out a win here. I mean, that, that's actually pretty significant, the amount of uh, damage they're doing to the Ottoman Navy and to the those forts there. It's pretty crazy. Oh, look at that. They actually beat our army, too. Oh. You think we, we consider attacking the Ottomans? Maybe... It's just the fact that Crimea and Akiyumu are going to join, you know? Really sucks. I think you're right, though. I think we should at least bring up our uh, army maintenance. Naval, you're right. And naval, 
naval dominance should be a, a possibility at the very least for us. Mm hmm. You're probably better right now for the siege. Well, but siege is not going to be relevant right away. But hopefully battles aren't either. We don't want to fight them. Is Yanya a fort at the start? No, I know oftentimes I build forts there when I own stuff, but... What do we declare war for? Do we have a claim or a core on this? We do. Knowing the AI... Albania is probably not going to want to peace out until they get like all of Anatolia occupied. The Ottomans are probably going to let them. They're probably going to be like in a pretty big stalemate over in this area. That's my guess at the very least. I don't know. I, I feel like this might work, you know? Pretty sure we can't. We, we already looked, right? We can't give away any... Uh, I, I'm not gonna get an admiral right now. Okay, they got Selenik, so... Oh, they have an army there, I didn't realize that. What do you think? When do we declare? When Adirne falls, maybe? And that way they won't occupy either side of the straight here. Armies are back up now. Navies aren't, but let's look at their navy, actually. Their navy has taken some beatings. They still have a lot of ships, but... Um, eh. Before. Hmm. Do we, yeah, but I just want to have more time to recover our navies, you know. Okay, you know, I, I'll go and declare now. I think that's fair. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to make it across. Venice will help out our navy for a while. And again, it's no big deal if we lose right now. Um, we'll just start again. Okay. Uh, the question is, do we even want that to be the war goal? Or do we want to do Yanya or something as the war goal? Hey, wisely chosen. What do we want to... I would love to do a fort, like like have a Durne be the war goal, but there we're not gonna be able to get that. And then the only time we'll be able to get that is once the other dudes finish their war and then we're gonna be beaten up, so. I feel like Kirkalise just because, uh... yeah, exactly, I need to be, ca exactly, I need to be cap at sieging. Um, they will get a lot of exhaustion, yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta try it. Let's try it. It really just sucks that we can't get uh, Wallachia to join. Because they have a truce, you know. So that's good. Adurne just fell. Um, and we're gonna be able to pick right before them. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's good. We're gonna get the war goal. Obviously, it's still not a great situation in general. Um, but... Well, actually, let's check something else. You're at war with... Oh, that's unfortunate. So that is very unfortunate, though, that the, the, um, the other enemies are not... We're not actually involved in the war right now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hmm. well, we have the war goal, but it's not going to mean too much until we get more stuff. Okay. Um, might as well try to re improve relations like Poland and others. Okay. So what do we actually want to do? The knights raided us, really? <laughs> really, knights? You have common enemies. 
This is the problem. Is look at this. Venice's navy is nowhere to be seen. Oh, hey, there is the army we should be focusing on. Okay, they're going to Athens, actually, so that works. This is the problem, right? Is that they're going to be able to make it over here. Even if they do, I would say that, you know, our mutual... They're, our, they're mutual enemies of ours. You, no. You know what I mean. Um, our somewhat allies might be able to handle them. Might want, Might even try to handle them, but... Hmm. This is unfortunate. Well, actually, hold on. This navy is leaving on the 30th of October, so we can actually just go out here. I feel like we should... I feel like we should do this. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. Just buy some time. They're gonna win that. Yeah, definitely gonna win it now. We should get out of there. Live to fight another day. They actually changed their mind with their movement across. Sneaky. What are they doing? Not sure what's going on here. Yeah, problem is that now they're yeah, they're gonna come over again. Hold on. <laughs> Keep doing this to annoy them. No losses, actually, and we actually took out one of theirs, so that's good. We should definitely have Athens attached to us, by the way. Hmm. Okay. Venice actually was like looking like they wanted to help us out there real quick. Wow, we need the money. Hmm, this is the bad part, right? This is the risk. Is that they're going to uh, attack us here? Hmm. And that here's the thing: we just, we literally just need to survive until Hungary and Venice go over there and start beating them up. So, we're gonna do this. We, you know, our ships are a resource, an asset to be used as such. Um, meanwhile, on land, they are, uh, the Crimeans have made it over here, which is very unfortunate. I think we're needing to take out some loans. Uh, I, I can't even afford that many mercs, but I am gonna buy at least one. Nah, this is really unfortunate, though, because now they're just gonna... Ah, oh, darn. Yo, Athens, I definitely told you to, co to connect up to my army, but, you know, I guess that's cool. Just disobey commands. Okay, Venice is helping us out. Hmm. Squish. Okay, we actually won a naval battle. Nice. That is whose army? Uh, at Kuyumu, Selenic, 11th of March, 28th of February. Let's try to get the war goal again. Okay. They're going to deal with Hungary now, I think. So they are they kind of are, are ignoring us or at least have turned away temporarily. Okay. You want to you want to come attack me across the strait with half as many troops as me. I'll take that battle. I'll take that battle any day. 
Uh, I probably won't want to take that one. Problem is, if only they would actually come and help me directly, that'd be so nice. In fact, I could probably give them access, you know? I mean, they, they should already have access through me, but... They don't actually want to take it. Probably because they already have it, so they don't want to waste the slot. That makes sense. Alright, we're going to do this. What? Hungry got there first? Are you kidding me? Hungry has the war? Oh, that's BS. Yeah, I just want to say that's BS. Uh, oh, by the way, we should have done this a while ago. This is the first attempt of the day, you know. <laughs> Uh, I've attempted, like, five patches ago, four patches ago, maybe. You know, we, be, the less said about it, the better. Nah, I mean, it was fine. It's just, you know, it is what it is. So look at this. The fact that Hungary and uh, Venice are both, both have, like, 40,000 troops over there is great. That is beautiful. I think what we need to do is we need to try to get Crimea out. And if we could just get one fort, we could definitely do it, right? Um, and it's not like we've been doing much with our army over here anyways. I'm not going to bother with their army. I, I want to purposely avoid their army even. But if we can get over there to Crimea, that would be beautiful. Yeah, we're not going to be able to siege them directly anyways. Venice is guarding the Straits. We don't have anything left to even try to siege over here. Ooh, that's a nice battle. Hey, Jadoa, thank you for the gift. 70 ducats is like seven years of income so that's great <laughs> okay let's try to do something maybe a little risky uh, no 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 there you go it's not that risky but you know let them try to siege us down whatever we might not be able to out siege them but we can certainly try 28th of august if I were to try to run over there now... I don't think that battle uh, is going to last that long. Sorry, Athens. You're on your own, bud. Mm -hmm. Well, it is what it is. I definitely would not have made it. So... But yeah, they got sack -like. Um, I'm going to try to just... Let that siege continue. Maybe try to draw their army away, because they're probably going to try to chase that one stack down. Rip Athens. Yep. Indeed, Kelnan, indeed. I mean, they're fine. You were abandoned so well. Yep. Try and siege me, Crimea. Try it. Okay, they want to out-siege me, or try. I'm, I'm worried that... it. So it definitely seems like the Ottomans are actually going to lose that war against Albania. However, the question is, at this point we want that war to go on as long as possible so that the Ottomans lose harder and so that they have less of a chance to rebound against us, right? So really it's going to come down to um, how long is that war going to go on for? We should hopefully be able to win this before any of our sieges get lost directly. So that is really good. That's actually a huge step forward. Um, a huge boon. Yeah, they haven't broken our walls on Athens. And that's Athens. I don't even care about Athens this much, right? They can't even siege Constantinople. And this fort um, in... Uh, what, what is this province? Yeah, Morea is um, at minus 42. No walls broken. So that's good. I think we are fine. We're fine. You know? We're, we're perfectly... Okay. Okay. Am I missing anything, guys? Is there anything I could be doing right now to increase our odds even more? Please let me know. Like, I am all for backseating on this in a campaign that, like this. Hello, Field Marshal. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, bud? 
boyo, boyerino, unless you're not a boyo, you know, but but they chill, you're a boyo. We're all boyos. Okay, 14%. They have Athens at 21, but you really qualified to say anything? I mean, everyone's qualified to say, say something. Plenty of people who are better than me haven't gotten some of the ones I've gotten. Plenty of people who are worse than me have gotten ones I haven't gotten like this, you know? So it's, it's more like... You see, I have problems? Well, we all have problems, don't we? Um... I'm doing alright. Yep. I declared this war, so it's it's problems of my own making, if anyone's... Ooh. Guess what? Guess whose odds of winning just went way up. I wouldn't say, like, a huge amount so, but, um, but a bit. So that's the good thing, right? It's almost... No, we don't want to do that, obviously. We want to get our lane back, but we can't because it's all occupied by people that are not us. It's just us. No one's on our side. <laughs> um, so here's the question. Do we keep them in the war for the extra war score, or do we get Crimea out of the war? I think we should get them out of the war, but what are your guys' thoughts on that? I think we get them out of the war. What is Ottoman's navy looking like right now? Oh! Yo, Ottoman's navy... What? Their, their navy has been completely destroyed. Holy crap. Yo, that's crazy good. That's very good. Uh, yeah, in that case, because their navy is out, that definitely means we should end it or uh, get them out. Because that means if we can just secure the land situation in the Balkans, we will have no problem. I mean, we, they'll probably still try to hire mercs and stuff. Uh, and we can get money. It's it's still actually a pretty good situation for us, I would say. Um, mm, we could even take some land from Crimea. And that might not be the worst thing in the world. We could try to get Crimea itself. Um, hmm. Could we vassalize them? Almost certainly not, right? No, we're good League of Average Gaming. We uh, we have Crimea siege down. Um, and we should be able to get them out. Nah, we can't vassalize it. Yeah, way too much. Um, I don't think we should actually take any land. Really, it's like all the land is the wrong religion. It's it's just gonna be. I feel like we need to get cores back, and this is just going to detract from that mission. The only reason I think we might is because if we could, it might help with the whole trying to vassalize Theodoro thing, right? That's the only reason. If we were going to take anything, it would just be Crimea, maybe. Is there any vassals at least? That's a good question. I don't think so. No, they start with a pretty solidified country. Uh, I, I wish we could get Theodoro, but... You know what, we'll try to do, it. what would be much better, I think, would be to try to just take, um, this. Take Kaffa and win a war with Genoa. At some point, we're going to go to war with, you know, Genoa. We'll try to take this island here, and we'll also try to take Kaffa. And then that'll give us the same thing, and it's already orthodox. I think that's much better. And of our culture group. That would be much better. No, it, it, uh, uh, you, wait. No, there's no overlap. This is, I think the border is right there between Zaporozhye. Zaporozhye. No idea how to say that. Um, yeah, I don't think we do. I think you guys are right. We just bleed them dry, get a bunch of money from this. Make sure it's only for themselves. Yes, it is. That's a lot of money for this point in the game for the Byzantines, you know? That's super helpful. Definitely want to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to take anything else. I think we just do this. Okay, so that's really good there. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, hmm. We want to try to bum rush down here, take care of this army. That would be beautiful if we could do that. I think we should be able to. We just need to try to keep them trapped there. Mm, you know what? That's... Uh, 